Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm so cold, I am cold. <laughs> it's a cold day in California. I was just telling my husband yesterday, I believe, I said, I need a couple cold days because it has been so warm here the whole time and we are about to go into spring and summer again and the heat, oh my God, I just need a break. <laughs> so today it's cold, I'm very happy, I'm doing good and I'm here to unpack two packages that I got for my birthday. Um, I don't know if you saw my video for my birthday. If not, I will link it up there because I asked for um, something I can put in my journal. I wanna make a journal with um, all the love and support I get from all of you. I have been on YouTube for a while and YouTube has helped me throughout I don't know, really, really bad times. Actually, starting my YouTube channel helped me to get out of a really, really deep hole. <laughs> so that's what I'm thankful for. And I want to make a journal and I want to kind of relive this and keep it in my mind that I am doing good. I'm doing much better than I did three years ago, you know, like depression wise, even though my other conditions have gotten worse. My depression seems to, you know, be stable right now. I still fall in holes, but then I need a reminder. So I wanted to make myself a journal with a reminder, with the love of all the other people. And I talk too much once again. Oh my God. One day I will learn to make shorter videos and not talk. So my very first one came all the way from Canada. Yay! <laughs> so I'm so excited. I'm going to open it here on the side so you don't see the address. And I'm very, very thankful that um, you decided to send me something because, you know, I just want everybody to go in my journal. Easy. Oh, oh, I don't know. I think that's all right if you read that. So this is from Sandy and um, she sent me something I can put in my journal. I asked for just a piece of paper at least. So, you know, I can fold it and stick it in my um, signature and have this piece. And I wanted you to write a name or a short wish or whatever on this piece of paper. You don't have to make anything big for that. So um, I wanna see what she sent me. First of all, here are some goodies for your journal, including some painty papers I have made Please feel free to use them as you wish. Hugs from Canada. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's actually it. You know, just a piece of paper that you have made or that you have coffee dyed or tea dyed or if not, just a, you know, just a normal piece of paper where you write down your name or, you know, so I do know who it is from. And um, when I go through my journal, I do know where I got it from and um, I don't know, it's just very important. Oh my God, that's so shiny. Is this one so shiny? No, this one is super shiny. Can you see that? Super shiny. What did you use on those? You need to tell me what you used on those as well. And I need to keep all of that together. So I remember later, you know, once you make a journal, it's gonna be such a mess or once I make one, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you are not, oh. Pretty. Maybe you are not very messy, but I am always messy and um, I don't want to lose it and I want to keep it with names. So that's why I was waiting so long. Sorry that I just opened it today. I literally didn't open it before. I put it aside because my room was a mess and things just uh, disappear in the mess if I open them. And I really didn't want to lose that because it's very, very important to me. Oh, I always see tiny hearts. And a little bit of stenciling. Those are really pretty. They're super shiny. So I'm going to find, you know, I can make tags or anything out of this to put into my journal. And then she sent me a little baggie. And I'm going to put it all back into this baggie as well once I'm done looking at it. With some little things that I can use in my journal, you know, if I want to put something there. So... Oh, the snowflakes are really, really cute. I don't have one of those. Oh, those look like my wooden snowflakes, actually. And some flowers. So I'm going to keep it all together to not to lose it, you know. And um, this is, yeah, this is all I wanted. Just a couple pieces from you to me that I can bind in one book and have everybody in there and, you know, just for me to remember life is good you know people are there and um, sometimes I feel lonely a lot of times I feel lonely even if there is a lot of people around me I feel lonely because 
I feel like nobody understands me. It's just, oh, it's just how it is. This is super pretty. What kind of paper is this? I cannot tell you, but this is, this is different. Is it a napkin? It looks like a napkin. Oh, wow. Did you just spray a napkin and then die cut it and it turned out like that? I have never done this. Let me know in the comments and I'm going to try that too because I really love the texture. And I see something here that looks like the side of the napkin. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Okay, so I have things I can put in there, you know, or decorate my tags with or whatever. Oh, this die, I must have it somewhere. It was my very, not the very first die, but one of the very, very first dies I ever bought. And it was back then when I was buying stuff on Wish. <laughs> this is so cool. I haven't used it in forever. And she used it on this very interesting look. It's very interesting paper. The cam does not even pick it up. It's kind of, I don't know, I can't even explain that. Oh, this is a different texture too. What is this one? Wax paper? That's really cool too. Oh man, why don't I think about what kind of paper is this? I don't use that. Yeah, so, and she sent me a couple tags, I see, so I can actually decorate those as well. And I'm also not thinking about doing that to my tags, you know, just run them through an, an embossing folder. Why not, Irina? Why not? <laughs> Okay, thank you so, so much, Sandy. I'm going to put everything away right away. I decided to have a dishpan where I put this stuff in. And I also, okay, it's written down here that it's from Canada, which is good. But I'm going to write, wait, let me see. No, I can't because I don't see the second name here. I hope I remember. See, the saying for me is, um, you can see me, you can see my hands, you know who I am. Um, <laughs> I can only see your comments with your um, avatar there. And if you guys change the avatar, for me, it's like, woo, I don't know this person, <laughs> you know, because it's kind of weird. So um, I will remember. And I'm so bad with names and everything, but... I hope you understand because I don't see you every time. Please don't change your avatars. <laughs> Please don't because it makes me think, who is this? I have never seen this person before. <laughs> okay, let me put it back in here in the envelope so I do not lose it anywhere. And this is going to go into my dishpan. And I got another one as well. So I have one from Ukraine. I have showed you and... um. Now I have another one, almost showed you the address. I need to open this one up because I think she reused an envelope as well. Yay for that. I'm telling you, reuse your envelopes because I have a box full of envelopes that were sent to me and I just reused them and sent them off again, you know. Why spend money on new envelopes plus yeah, gotta think about the environment a little bit, but let me try. Oh, yeah, she she was doing good on that sticky stuff here. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. I will not be able to reuse this envelope another time <laughs> because I just dropped it, actually. Okay, so I see shred. You want to mess up my room, huh? I just got it cleaned up. Okay, I see a lot of shred. Uh-oh, I'm going to keep all of that shred. That's what I do too. I keep shred, I put it in a little baggie, and I keep it, and then I send it off to somebody else. Yes, some more mess in somebody else's room. This is pretty shred. I didn't have this. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I see a piece of paper. Oh, it's glued on the baggie. I made these journaling notes for you. By the way, this is the first time I coffee dyed. Oh, I also made a flower just because. Oh, thank you so much. First time you coffee dyed. I think that's amazing. You know, <laughs> I think it is amazing. Did you like it? I love coffee dyeing paper. I love smelling it, touching it, you know. Oh, let me take this out here. 
Oh my good lord, shred, come to me. Okay, I got it all. So, this one is from Jenny. I think you pronounce her name like that. I'm not sure, Jenny, if I say it wrong. Talk to me. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below. Okay, I see an envelope first. And because I don't want to give too much information, I need to check if there is anything. Oh, look, she sent me a card. And it's really, really cute. Happy belated birthday. I say belated because I, it will arrive after. <laughs> have a wonderful time. Thank you so much. This will go onto my wall, of course. I have a card wall. You have all seen it, I think, before. So, yeah. And, oh my God, she typed a note. I'm so glad you did because for some reason, English or American people write different it's hard for me to read a lot of times <laughs> i mean i mean my writing is bad but this one is not bad it looks pretty but i still can't read it i don't know i think um you learn it different in the school or something like that so read let me read the note real quick here all righty so she says it's a lot of first times for her. Let me put this a little bit aside, but I still want to have it here because I love it. So first time coffee dyeing paper, first time making journal pages, first time making journal envelopes. So let's check this out. I'm gonna just start out with this one. A lot of first times. I remember starting out, when I started, my YouTube channel was basically when I started to craft and everything was my first time. And it's such an exciting time to be your first time of everything. Uh, sometimes, um, right now, when I craft, I think I have done this so many times, it's really not exciting anymore. And I'm, I sometimes get upset, you know, I want to try out new things. So new stuff is always very, very exciting. She sent me a super cool flower. And then, oh, this is probably what she meant. Oh, that's really cool. You know, you can write notes. Plus, you can open it up. If you just glue it like here into your journal, you can open it up and have, you know, a lot of space to write. That's wonderful. And she made, uh, she said she made six pockets out of 12 by 12 piece of paper. And she also had like certain paper that she didn't want to use, but she used today. <laughs> the paper is wonderful, by the way, lovely in every way. And she made like those different ones and it is coffee dyed. <laughs> so you did a good job. I love it. I love it. You know, she also said, um, like, feel free to use or not use or change or whatever. I cannot say it right now, you know, what I'm going to do because it just comes to me when I start doing something. I never have a plan. I always just start and then um, I do. You know, this is a six pocket. Oh, this is the one she made out of 12 by 12. She created the pocket. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I glued wrong. <laughs> okay, I see that. <laughs> you glued wrong. There is no wrong. You have just to learn how to, um, you know, put something else on top and cover up your mistakes. <laughs> there is no wrong. Um, take the ephemera out and use a pocket page for your journals. Okay, let me see where the opening is right here. I'm so saving up those baggies for something. Not sure what, but I have... A box with baggies well I have a couple boxes with baggies just so you know there is not just one so I'm gonna put this here and oh look she bound it together oh that's so cool I love this one as well by the way I'm gonna keep this I love it mine are always um lighter I don't have this really dark brown one and I love that so this is gonna stay with me as well oops something fell out uh-oh, this is going to stay with me. And, okay, so she said she glued something wrong and she made a pocket. Oh, this is how it opens up. I just don't want to, wow, this is filled. <laughs> this is really filled. Okay, she has all of those cutouts, a bunch of cutouts. 
I could use on anything and everything. Oh, look, this one is really cool, too. It has, like, this closure. Plop. I'm always thinking about making closures like that, but then I always forget. So I like that. I do have this paper bag, I think. At least the color reminds me of something I don't remember anymore. I have too much paper, I think. No, you cannot have too much. Oh, this one you glued wrong. Is that what you meant? Wait, I have to push it back in there. Okay, so she glued this one wrong. And that's why she made a pocket out of it. I see that. Okay. And then there is another one. Oh, that's really cool too. You got to let me know in the comments if you did like coffee dyeing paper, you know. You should coffee dye some copy paper and then when it's dry it feels so different and there is more cut i'm just gonna take them all out i think you don't mind if they don't stay in the pockets here but they are really really cute no i don't have this one i can't remember those die cuts or cutouts there are a lot a lot you are gold sweet <laughs> Okay, there is my, oh, that's really cool too for a journal, you know, where you can write something and anything. Never, never, never give up. Yes, we are not giving up here. <laughs> One smile at a time. Oh yeah, I love this paper. This paper is really, really pretty. I like that. And I like this one too, you know, and this could be notes as well. Oh, you know what? After I asked for something for my journal, I realized how big the responsibility is now because i have to make the journal without oh, i don't even know how to phrase that without anybody get upset that i did something a certain way with their paper or you know with their things they, they sent me i was thinking oh my god what if they don't like it <laughs> you know it's responsibility but yeah so, favorite. This is currently my favorite paper. I like mystical and, oh, I, I don't know. Do you say enchanted? I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't really know what it even means, you know. <laughs> I would have to look up. I love all the paper. The lady is a harvest nymph. Nymphs are our, oh no. Uh, our size. Oh, where fairies are tiny. Okay, okay. I got it. <laughs> I got it, I think. <laughs> I'm so bad at reading. I don't know. It's not because you write bad. I just, when my husband is writing, I can't read anything at all. You know, so that was still good. I could read it all. Okay. Oh, I remember when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a young crafter, I kept all of the washi tapes. I don't do this anymore. I really don't. I know it's kind of a waste, but I can't do this anymore. I can't keep all of the little pieces because <laughs> I will die in my hoarding <laughs> room. Change 2020. Oh, that's so cool of you. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, you did coffee dye normal paper, I believe, because I... It looks like I stuck it in there. This is like, ooh, ooh. She made a journal. She made a full page to put into my journal. So that's going to be something. Yes, she did coffee dye normal paper. Wasn't it cool? I love coffee dyeing normal paper. Because once you are done, it starts feeling different. And it's just, okay, I'm trying to figure out. Look, she's really, really cute. So that's a nymph. <laughs> I'm so bad, I do not know. And this says, make it happen and change 2020. Yes, yes, I need to change. I need to change my environment somehow or my perception. I cannot change other people. I cannot change myself, I believe, but I can change the perception and things I do. I, I don't really want to change my personality or something like that, but some things and she oh really really cool i like that did you glue another piece of paper yes i think so i think she glued a second piece of paper in the back and those are like little things that 
you can write notes on. Okay, so that's cool. I love it. It's almost a done journal. There, I have a signature. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Now I have to put it in a journal a way that it, you know, stays that way. I don't know if that makes any sense. I love this little cutout as well. Okay. Okay. And there is also a little envelope she put on top. And I believe that's empty, right? Oh, this is just to write notes. Okay. I'm not going to open it because I'm thinking that this should be glued down like that. So I, if I open it, this is, I don't want to rip it or anything. And it looks so pretty. Thank you so much, and girls, ladies. That was really, really cool. I'm very excited. That was way too much. That's, you know, all I'm asking for is a piece of paper. And if you see this and you would like to be in my journal, you know, it's not too late. I didn't even start my journal yet, and it's going to take me forever to finish it. So if you have a connection with me and... um want to be in the journal because I want everybody to be in the journal. You know, I want them all <laughs> without, I don't want to, um, I don't know how to say that. I'm not begging for stuff. I really hate something like that. Like when I start feeling like I'm begging for something, I'm not begging for anything. I'm just asking for a piece of paper. <laughs> if you can, if you cannot, don't worry about it. But I would just love to have everybody in my journal. So that's the point. And I didn't start the journal yet. I will start sometime. And, um, you know, <laughs> there is still my <laughs> mermaid project. <laughs> I might be late. <laughs> I might be starting late. I don't know. I might be starting very soon because I actually did make the very first page for my journal. Oh, let me show you. I, <laughs> I started my journal already. Where did I put it? I put it into this paper pad to make it flat. Oh, there it is. Let's say I started my journal already <laughs> because I made the first page. <laughs> I think it's gonna go in my journal. So I printed something on a coffee dyed paper. You cannot see it. The, the cam does not pick anything up anymore, but there is a print. I can see a rose right here and here and a couple notes there. And then after I printed it on my coffee dyed paper, I also distressed it and then I burned it. As you can see, I burned it all over. So actually it could go into a journal as well. So let's say I started <laughs> and I'm going to be done sometime. Don't know when. Right now I really want to put the stuff all together. Okay, so this doesn't go in my journal. It goes on my wall. I believe I got everything. I'm going to put all of the little notes and everything in here in the envelope so I don't lose it. And yeah, I'm very, very excited because I got a couple things for my journal already and it's cool and I'm just, yeah, going to start soon. <laughs> Maybe I should start right now, you know. No, I have to put some things away and then I will start so everything in my room is clean and it doesn't get mixed up with something something else and I'm going to be good. So thank you very, very, very much. I'm really happy. I really am and I'm excited and um, yeah, happy birthday to me. <laughs> so guys, give the ladies thumbs up, of course, in the description, uh, in the description, of course, <laughs> in the comments, you can tell them how good they did. I mean wonderful wonderful thank you so much and you all enjoy your day and i will see you soon bye bye